Cathy Outdoors was ranked in the top 20 best fly fishing channels in the world. And there's a reason for that. Get ahead on that guy. Need some moisturizer, buddy. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody, to Get Happy Outdoors. So today is September the second, twenty nineteen. It's Labor Day. <laughs> it's Monday. So uh, yeah, we got a bunch of fishermen out here. We're gonna go out and try to show them how it's done. <laughs> Wow, that's a 28. Holy crap, he's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, wow. You're the one I was watching over there. That's a big check. Okay, guys, no exaggeration on that. The full 28 and a half inches. All right, guys. That's what a big tiger looks like. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, what a monster! Tiger is, he's full. He's got all the weight in the world. Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at the fly that he took. So, if you're looking for fly fishing videos on the internet, there's a few channels you gotta check out. Now, how are you gonna find those channels? Go to feedspot.com. They have the most comprehensive list of the top 20 fly fishing channels on the web. And now, Get Happy Outdoors 
is in the top 20 because of this. So watch Get Happy Outdoors to see more giant trout. Look at that trout, guys. That's a monster. He's pulling now. All right, go for it, buddy. All right. So here's a good example of how I find where the fish are feeding. I'll watch the ducks. This little guy is left all by himself. This little baby. But he's been taught well. See what he's doing is he's diving down and he's eating insects. Mostly uh, scuds, mayfly nymphs, damselfly nymphs and stuff like that. But where is he doing it? That's what we got to pay attention to. Watch where he goes. The weed clumps. So if I'm out fishing and uh, I'm not having much luck, I'll stop. I'll watch the ducks. Where are the ducks at? Where are they, where are they feeding? Because they feed on the scuds and all the same insects that the, the trout feed on. So this little guy, you can tell, he's diving down into the weed clumps and picking them off of the weeds. Same place the tigers are hiding. That's where I get my big tiger trout because they're literally sitting in the middle of those weed clumps just picking insects off of the weeds. That way they don't have to come into the open water to be fooled by a false fly or anything like that. So I hope this gives you another helpful tip as far as finding the fish. I use the ducks. I'm gonna go over to this weed clump now. And he's gonna go check it out. There he goes. That's just one of the ways that I find the fish, guys. I watch the ducks. All right, so this big tiger that I've got on right now, I hooked up with him using my 30-20-30 method. I'm gonna show it to you guys here in a minute after we catch this trout. That's a whopper. Look as big as my boat. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> There's another 28 plus enter. Wow, guys. Oh, man. Love catching these monster tigers. Oh, look at this fella. <laughs> Long as my leg. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, he's uh, he's definitely at least 28. Let's see. Ugh. He's not even tired yet. He's kicking and kicking and kicking. Ugh. Oh, right on 28. Exactly. <laughs> That's a monster, guys. <laughs> oh, you gotta love this. Man, I love catching monster tigers. <laughs> now this is how you get happy outdoors <laughs> like i told you guys more giant trout there's so many more to be had oh wow look at that just look at that what a monster <laughs> I mentioned the 30-20-30 method to you. I'm going to show you what that is right now. 